afternoon YouTube land. How are you guys and gals today? Well, today is an encouraging video to lift up anybody's, you know, spirit that is feeling down or what's that word I'm looking for? Um, you know when you're like at a game and the last minutes and like the the teams or the score points you know the scoreboard and it's just like the clock you could see it like home versus the visitor and you could just see the time okay well the buzzer hasn't sounded yet and in my thought process I am thinking about all the people that think that God is a joke, that make fun of him on the internet, that that have the audacity to leave rude comments to believers about their faith, about what they believe in, about what they're waiting for, about how they were raised. You know, I mean, when you're raised in the faith, you've got an unshakable spirit. Because the Bible says, when you see all the, the weird stuff going on in the world, you're supposed to keep your eyes on Him as the world grows strangely dim. And I'm telling you, the world is strange. The world is so strange, I don't even have enough fingers to count. Like all the warning signs and all the warning bells that are going off to wake people up. And still, still they mock God. The Bible says God shall not be mocked. You know, the Bible is so important, it's, it's like the blue, what, blue, blueprint for, for people to live by. It's the manual for life. You know, you've got the fruits of the spirit that you get, and there's, there's things that we're supposed to learn while we're here on the earth. And everybody's going to fail and mess up. But you pick yourself back up again and you get better. You don't get bitter. And, and I know speaking from experience how the Lord has really helped me is every time I messed up, all I had to do was just, just talk to Him. He's not some made-up thing. He's real. He answers prayers. He hears prayers. He heals the sick. If only people would humble themselves and repent. But no. You don't see a lot of people humbling themselves and repenting in these last days. You see, you see marriages of the same sex getting passed. You know... And, and you, you see all these other things. I'm not just picking on one thing here. The signs are everywhere. You know, the wickedness is getting wickeder every single day. And people don't understand it's a spiritual battle that we're in. At the end of the day, when you put your head on your pillow at night, do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Do you know we're living in the last hours of the last days? And the reason why I stress that is because I firmly believe, this is just my two cents, <laughs> it ain't worth much, but it could help somebody out there. Jesus can come back like at any moment. That's, that's just how, that's just what I think. That's just what I feel. 
Now I know there's some things in the Bible, like there, there, there's a temple that still has to be built in the Middle East, and there's there's a couple of other things that I believe still haven't happened yet. Like I believe the church will still be here to see the Antichrist come into full power, but I believe that right before, like, see, this is, this is, okay, let me just back up a minute. When you feel like you are going to be kicked out of your apartment because you don't have the rent and you've got all your boxes packed, that's what happened to me. I seriously thought, I don't have the money. I started packing everything and putting it by the front door so when the moving van came, I would be ready to move out of the house. And then I just said a prayer and I'm like, God, I'm short money and then money came. You know what I mean? But still, I, it, it's that saying, you, you hope for the best, but you wait, wait, no, you, you don't anticipate the worst, but you hope for the best. Wait, shoot, I messed it up again. It's hope for the best. Wait, it's not that. It's, oh my gosh, I hate when this happens. Hope, hope for the best. But don't wait for the worst. I don't know. Okay, somebody's going to know what I'm trying to say. But that's how it is. See, Jesus leaves us on a cliff with our fingernails on the cliff. And we're like, oh my God. And, and when you're screaming out, that's when he shows up. Remember when Peter was in the boat? And he saw Jesus on the water. And he, at, he, he was like, Lord, you know, if that's you, bid me to come walk on the water. So Jesus was like, yeah, come on the water. So, so he stepped out on faith. And he was on the water. But then in the natural, when he was like, what am I doing? I'm on the water. When he started to doubt and take his eyes off the Lord, that's when he began to sink. So I guess what, what I'm trying to say in this video is the Lord can come at any time. He can. And he's not going to have the church here for the horrible, like, um, there's the tribulation, and then there's the God's wrath part. And I, I am confident, because and Thessalonians, you know, the being changed in the twinkling of an eye, the being caught up, the harpazo word in Greek, the catching away, the snatching away, that's what's going to happen to us. So what I want to say is stand firm until the end. Don't take your eyes off the Lord. And whenever somebody scoffs at God or says, Oh, you're invisible friend again. You're talking about your... You know what? That's... I am just... I have decided I'm following Jesus. I... There's no turning back for me. I have decided. Okay? There's no turning back for me. There's even a little story that, you know, if you make up your mind to follow the Lord, you can't go back to your old wicked ways. you got to keep going forward. See, we are in the days where we got to reach the unsaved, people that have never heard about Jesus. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be making videos sharing our personal testimonies of what the Lord has brought us through. Because I'm telling you, without Jesus, I would still be smoking pot, drinking, 
you know, because I was sad and depressed and felt hopeless. Um, probably like when I was in jail and when I was in prison for a few years, I seriously was in there thinking I can't wait to do my time so I could go hang out, you know, with my dogs. And so we could go and just do what we were doing. But this was like 20 years ago, which, of course, that didn't happen, which thank God to that. Sometimes you got to change your friends. If you want to grow firmer in the faith and stronger to stand in the tests and the trials and the tribulations and the hurdles and the fairy darts, Sometimes you have to, some, you're going to lose friends because they're going to think clinging on to your faith, that's ridiculous. But I say that is awesomeness because you know what? They don't see the things I see. And that's the thing about being a child of God. He gives us eyes to see. He does. You don't have to physically see things to know that there's things that exist. You don't physically have to see where the world as a whole planet, you know, when Revelation says that the kings of this earth give their powers and relinquish their um, their own minds and their own thought process like Obama was quoted in a video saying people need to give up their rights people need to give up their basic rights because they can't think for themselves government has to do it for them I was like, oh my gosh. And and it's on the internet and, and there's no way am I going to like be able to tag it on so you can believe me. It's on there. Obama says that. Obama says citizens have to give up their rights because they can't make the best decisions for themselves. And to me, that is a crock of chicken. <laughs> now, seriously, we are in the last days. The volcanoes are waking up. You've got signs, signs everywhere. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a new bill. Pretty soon, they're going to be gun grabbing, martial law and people hurting people, and you got to be firm in the faith. If you don't have any faith, it's going to come upon you, and you're just going to have a nervous breakdown. Like, right, I mean, it, the Bible says the things that are coming cause men to instantly have a heart attack. And if you know, like, there's a problem, there's, I know there's a meteor coming. I don't know when, I don't know when, I don't know when, but there is a meteor coming. I don't know where it's going to land, I don't know where it's going to hit, but there is a meteor coming. The Bible says the heavens will be shaken, like, like a fig tree. Have you ever seen a fig tree? You barely bump into it, and they start dropping on the ground. They're ripe. They're more than ripe. And, and what's my time looking like? My time's looking like I have to go. You guys, my two cents isn't a lot, but you know what? If you don't have faith, and if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're in big trouble. Because when millions are gone, that means Jesus came and took the true believers out of harm's way. I don't want you to be in harm's way. Am I yelling? I'm sorry. I get like that when I'm serious. Because there's so many mockers and scoffers. And God's word does not return to him void. 
things are happening quickly. I gotta go. Bye.